Hello friends, welcome back to Infigyan. Today in this video, we are going to solve one very very interesting question from algebra. Find the value of a smallest positive integer m such that this quadratic equation x square plus 2 times m plus 5 times x plus 100 m plus 9 equal to 0 has only integer solutions. So x should be integer and we have to find out a smallest positive integer m. So let's get started by writing quadratic formula first. So x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times ac over 2 times a. As per our equation, we can write the value of a is equal to 1, the value of b, which is coefficient of x, 2 times m plus 5 and if I will write value of c then it is 100 m plus 9. Now we will plug in all the values. x will come out minus 2 times m plus 5. This is minus b plus minus the square root of b square. So 2 square is 4 times m plus 5 whole square minus 4 times 1 times c. a is 1, c is 100 m plus 9 over 2 times a. So I will write 2. Now we will take 4 common from here and it will come out as 2 and here we have 2 already in denominator we have 2. So we can simplify and write minus of m plus 5 plus minus the square root of m plus 5 whole square minus 100 m plus 9 in the bracket or we can write minus 100 m minus 9. Denominator 2 will be cancelled out. Now x should be integer. So for x to be integer, this radicand must be one perfect square. Let's say it is a square of n. So I will write here m plus 5 whole square minus 100m plus 9. This is equal to n square where n belongs to positive integer. Now we are going to use a plus b whole square formula here. So I can write m square plus 2ab term will give us 10m plus 5 square we will write 25. Then we will write minus 100m minus 9 equal to n square or we will simplify LHS and write m square minus 90m then we will write 25 minus 9 plus 16 equal to n square. Now I am going to add 45 square here. Then I will subtract the same. Then we have plus 16. RHS is n square. Now these three terms will give us m minus 45 whole square. So m square 45 square minus 2ab term will give us minus 90m. 45 square is 2025. Then we have plus 16. RHS is n square. Or I can write m minus 45 whole square minus 2025 plus 16. We will write minus 2009 equal to n square. 
Now I will take n square to the LHS and minus 2009 to the RHS. We will write m minus 45 whole square minus n square equal to 2009. Now we can apply a square minus b square difference of a square's identity and I can write here m plus n minus 45 in one bracket. This was m minus 45 plus n. So m plus n minus 45. In other bracket we will write m minus n minus 45. And RHS is 2009. Now obviously m plus n is greater than m minus n. So m plus n minus 45 would be greater than m minus n minus 45. Now we are going to factor 2009. Let me write our equation once. Here it is. Now I can write here this bracket would be greater than this bracket. I will write m plus n minus 45. This is greater than m minus n minus 45. Now we will factor 2009. So I can write 2009 times 1 will give us product 2009 or we can write here 49 times 41 product we will get 2009 or we will write minus 41 times minus 49 this product is also 2009 as we can see minus 41 is greater than minus 49 so we have written m plus n minus 45 as minus 41 similarly I will write minus 1 times minus 2009. This product will also be the same 2009. Remember, first bracket is greater than second bracket. So I have taken only those cases. Now we have to form four system of equations. So we will begin with first one where m plus n minus 45 this is equal to 2009 and second equation if i will write m minus n minus 45 equal to 1 now i will add both the equations so plus n minus n will be over we will write 2m minus 90 equal to 2 0 1 0. Now we will add 90 to both sides. We can write 2m equal to. I will write 2 1 0 0. Now we have to divide this equation by 2 to get the value of m. So we will write m equal to 2 1 0 0 divided by 2. So I will write 1 0 5 0. This is the value of m. Now we have to cross check whether we are getting n integer or not or n positive integer or not. So I will put this value of m in our second equation of the system. So I can write the value of n will be equal to m minus 45 minus 1 or I can write let me write minus 45 minus 1. So n will be equal to 1050 minus 46. So we will get n positive integer and value will be 1004 which is true. So our first value of m is 1050. Now we will consider our second system of equations where m plus n minus 45 is 49 and m minus n minus 45 is 41. So let me write here second system m plus n minus 45 equal to 49 and m 
minus n minus 45 is 41. Again, we will add both the equations. We will get 2m minus 90 and RHS will be 90. Add 90 to both sides, we will get 2m equal to 90 plus 90, 180. So I can get m equal to 90 once we will divide both sides by 2. Let's check n also. So n will be equal to from this equation. We will take minus n to the RHS, 41 to the LHS. We will write m minus 45 minus 41. So I will plug in m equal to 90. So 90 minus 45, 41, 86. We will get 4, which is true. So our second m value would be 90. Now we will consider third system of equations. Let me write here. So I will write both the equations m plus n minus 45. This is equal to negative 41. And m minus n minus 45 equal to negative 49. As negative 41 is greater than negative 49. Now we will add both the equations once again. We will get 2m minus n plus n will be over. We will write minus 90 here. RHS will be equal to minus 90. We will add 90 to both sides. We will get 2m equal to 0. So we can conclude m must be equal to 0. For our third system of equations, m is coming out 0. Now we are going to plug in here in the second equation. So I can write n will be equal to m minus 45 plus 49. So I can write 0 minus 45 plus 49. Again we are getting n equal to 4 which is one positive integer accepted. So our third m value which is required as per question is 0 which is not positive. So we can reject. Now we have to solve our fourth system. Let me write equations. We will write m plus n minus 45 equal to negative 1 and m minus n minus 45 equal to minus 2009. Again we will add both the equations. We will get 2m if I will write directly minus 2010 plus 90. So we will get m equal to minus 960. We are getting negative integer. Now we will calculate the value of n. So if I will plug in m equal to minus 960 in this equation. So I can write n will be equal to m minus 45 plus 2009. Let us put m equal to minus 960 minus 45 plus 2009. Value is coming out 1004, which is one positive integer. So our fourth m would be minus 960. So the smallest positive integer m would be out of four cases, we will write m equal to 90. The smallest m, the smallest positive integer m. So our final answer is 90. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care. Bye bye.